and welcome to another edition of Lab Matters, a webcast from Kaspersky Lab. I'm here to talk spam with Maria Namasnikova, our senior spam analyst here at Kaspersky Lab. Uh, Maria, I want to start off with, uh, in the last couple of months, we've seen a lot of news stories about a, a dramatic drop mm -hmm. in spam hitting people's inboxes and spam being sent from botnets. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Do we know why this, there's, there's been a dramatic drop? Uh, of course, uh, in the, well, maybe not in the end, but the uh, second half of the 2010, uh, there were a couple of um, cases and the botnets were actually closed. Like the case of Pushdo cut whale that happened uh, in the end of August. Okay. And then uh, the case of Bredelab that happened in the end of October. And after both these cases, we've seen the drop of amount of spam. And uh, maybe actually, we've seen the drop of like 2,000% of the uh, whole mail traffic. Really? Uh, two, two, uh, I'm sorry, 2%. 2%, I mean, okay. 2 of, <laughs> of whole spam traffic. Uh, of a whole mail traffic, actually. But uh, what does it mean that the amount of spam itself uh, decreases for uh, about 10% or maybe even 15%? That's very significant. And, yeah. it's and you're saying it's yeah. directly related to the uh, botnet takedowns yeah. by law enforcement, of course, by yes. you know, Microsoft did some work mm -hmm. around. Because Bush, Dockert, Whale, and Bredelab as well was, uh, were great big mail Three of uh, the spam last, spam three of the biggest spam uh, pushing it, botnets. Two, it's two botnets, two botnets actually, right, yeah. right, right, right. and uh, they are very big spam botnets, actually. This drop in spam that, that we've noticed, it, it has, has it been a, a drop in all types of spam or is it a, a certain subsector uh, of spam? Okay, I think that you are talking now about closure of an affiliate program spam it. Oh, okay. Actually, it's not connected um, directly with the drop of amount of spam. Uh, but uh, at the same moment, um, the, the first, uh, on the 1st of October 2010, the great big pharmaceutical affiliate program for spammers, Spamit, was closed. It was closed not by uh, law enforcement, but uh, by criminals by themselves. They told uh, somewhere in the middle of September, they told that uh, there is too much attention to what they, they are doing, mm -hmm. and they have decided to close the affiliate program. After that, uh, the amount of spam didn't actually drop. Uh, what happened is that in the middle of September, when the criminals, the spammers, found out that uh, this affiliate program is going to be closed, mm -hmm. uh, they started sending much more uh, pharmaceutical spam than before, because they were going to get more money right. in the last moment. And then by the end of September, uh, they just uh, started to send less pharmaceutical spam because they um, didn't have any place mm -hmm. more where they are going to get money from. Well, maybe they had, but the biggest place right. were closed. And uh, then what happened is that the amount of pharmaceutical spam dropped. In the end of October, uh, next thing happened, um, Mr. Igor Gusev, that is considered to be connected with uh, GloveMed affiliate program, that was maybe second big uh, mm -hmm. affiliate program with, connected with pharmaceutical spam, um, was uh, not actually arrested, but law enforcement uh, made much attention to what he okay. was doing. And uh, there was a case, and there is a case at the moment, and uh, in Russia, uh, Igor Gusev is going to be maybe convicted, okay. and um, the amount of spam uh, containing uh, pharmaceuticals and Viagra advertising just dropped You'd again. You expect that to be another big drop. You're yeah, expecting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we we did not ex uh, we we've seen it actually right. this drop, and at the same moment, what happens is that spammers stop sending Viagra uh, spam because they Viagra spam because they see. Um, that there is much, really much attention around it. And what they start doing is they try to uh, find another way to get their money. For example, they, uh, in September and October, they started sending um, gambling spam. Uh, very big amount of such spam we've seen. And in previous months, there were almost no letters with gambling right. spam, and then suddenly it appeared. Uh, at uh, the same time, 
uh, then uh, gambling spam maybe didn't work properly. Maybe just were too many spammers. Yeah. When you sending say gambling spam, you're talking about spam messages with uh, uh, advertising of advertising. Casino, right, right, casino and so on. Um, then um, they maybe resort, <laughs> reminded, right. and uh, then uh, they decided to spam another um, well kinds of affiliate program spam, right. like uh, well spam containing, for example, porno spam. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, the amounts of uh, such kind of mailings, they changed very dramatically. For example, uh, one week we could see about almost one third of all spam were gambling spam. Next week there were maybe five or ten percent of right, spam right. Uh, was gambling spam. And actually some spammers uh, decided not to send affiliate program spam anymore, but they decided to work with little companies, with small, middle-sized companies that wanted to use spam as an advertising. Right. And uh, they, they've started to send their self-advertising spammers. I mean. right, right. So uh, the amount of self-advertising uh, grew up, but at the same time, the amount of spam that was ordered by the middle-sized companies and little-sized companies grew up as well. It happens very rarely. So usually when the amount of ordered spam right, grows, right. then the amount of self-advertising of spammers fell or falls, but it was not the case. They grew at the same moment. Have you, have you guys seen a change in techniques used by spammers to get around filters? Have we seen more use of images, more use of just HTML files, more use of... What, what are some of the you know, common techniques you're, you know, you're no, seeing either growing or mm -hmm. decreasing? Uh, at the moment, yes. I mean, well, actually at the end of the last year, we've seen, for example, many pictures, uh, mm -hmm. many graphical spam, and we've seen much, uh, many uh, messages with mal malware actually at right. the end of uh, the right. last year. But uh, now we do not see so many graphical messages, for example, and uh, the amount of uh, malware spam is not uh, so huge as well. And, um, well, actually, um, this what spammers do not do at the moment, they do not uh, try to invent a new way of, well, uh, how to break through these filters, because mm -hmm. all the ways are already invented, mm -hmm. and what they are doing... They just modify it. Yeah, they That's modify it, and they just use uh, the ways they liked the most, so that were the most efficient ways. All right, thank you very much, Maria. Thank you, Ryan. And thank you for watching another edition of Lab Matters, a webcast from Kaspersky Lab.